If you're at a party this summer and want to grab someone's attention, you could try charming the crowd with an improvised pan flute, or you could go for a more direct approach. In this project, we're turning bottle caps and drink cans into sports-style party whistles that'll give you the power you need to summon the attention you deserve. We're all familiar with the term life hacks, but this summer the guys at Mike's Hard Lemonade asked me to help put a refreshing twist on it with what they're calling Mike Hacks. Mike Hack, basically a life hack that makes any social occasion more awesome. I tried hot gluing some glass bottles together and found that, yes, they really can work as a pan flute. It's a pretty awesome idea, but can be pretty messy and take up a lot of space. So let's try making another kind of party favor that's just as awesome, but a little easier to manage. We'll need to start this project with an empty aluminum drink can. Now if we use something like a pair of scissors to make some strategic cuts, we can harvest a lightweight sheet of aluminum metal. Now before you throw the scraps away, make sure you save a tab or two, because we'll need those for measurements in just a minute. Alright, let's cut a long narrow strip from the sheet metal, making sure the edges are as straight as possible, then cut a smaller, stubbier piece as well. You can see the long strip is the width of a single can tab, while the smaller piece is as wide and as tall as two pieces laid side by side. We need to join these pieces together with the smaller rectangle centered on top about a quarter inch down from the end. The two sides wrap around the back holding it in place, and now you can snip the top corners off if you feel like it, and finish up by folding the tab over to lock everything together. We've just formed the mouthpiece for our whistle. Now let's grab the other end of the strip and push it back through the mouthpiece, being careful not to bend it. You'll see what we're going to do with this in just a minute. Alright, it's time to get busy with our bottle caps. I tried using a pair of scissors to snip the sides and cut a little notch in each cap, so when the two bottoms are lined up, they form a round container with a symmetrical hole at the top. Let's bring back the piece we made earlier and fit the barrel inside one of the caps, then expand it so it completely fills the inside. Now that we know it fits together nicely, we can line the inside of the cap with some hot glue, then place the rounded strip back in position. When the glue is hardened, it should look like this. Now this is the point where we form the noise maker. Carefully cut the strip so it lines up with the top of the notch, then pull the scrap part out of the mouthpiece. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to add hot glue to the other cap, and press the two pieces firmly together, making sure the notches line up symmetrically. Now for one last embellishment, I tried cutting one of the tabs in half and hot gluing it to the back, so now we have the option of adding a lanyard. That'll just make it fully accessible anytime we want it. The whistle works by directing air through the mouthpiece and splitting it over the sharp edge of the metal. Not only does it look good, but it actually sounds good too. If you try rolling your tongue when you blow, it'll sound a lot like a referee's whistle, and it's really, really loud. Well, now you know how to convert your cans and bottle caps into colorful and customizable party whistles that will summon you attention when you need it and make a great conversation piece when you don't. Well, that's it for now. If you like this project, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. Hey guys, this is the whistle that I just made in this video, and I thought one of the coolest things I could do is give it to one of you. So here's the deal. All you have to do is leave your comment below, and I'm going to choose a random comment and ship this thing in about a week. Just a little way to express my appreciation for the support that you're giving me. I put out a new video every five days, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel because I've got a few things coming up that I don't think you're going to want to miss. For all of you who are subscribed, I want to say thanks for being one of my random citizens. I appreciate you, and I'll be looking for you in a future project video.